Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So what I am showing you on the screen guys is the gifts I received this Christmas. Okay. And as you are seeing all these gifts are looking really nice and packed in a wrapping paper. Now let me ask you guys what is the purpose of packing the gift inside those wrapping papers. So all of you have received gifts in your birthdays when you were kid and many times right. So the purpose is very simple guys, we want to make it more beautiful and we want to maintain some level of secrecy what is there inside those packets. Based on these two fundamental concepts, I am going to explain you piece by piece of what is decorator in python and how it works. Like the way gifts are being decorated here, the job of the decorator is to decorate a function in python. So let me tell you how it works, what is its funda, what is its principle and why it is very very important. So what are we are going to cover guys? We are going to cover first of all why decorators, what is the need of decorators at all. Okay. Second, building blocks of decorators. So you need to understand few things about function so that you will be able to relate when it comes to decorators. Then we are going to do our on decorator coding example. And then I am going to tell you some references where you can learn more things about decorators. First of all guys, without any further delay, let's start with why decorators. Okay, and please ensure to watch this video till end guys. I have done some research and come up with this, you know, sequential steps to learn decorators. So just utilize this video, okay. So why decorators? Let's say this is a new year time and you want to write a function to wish me happy new year okay so you come here and say a function msg and you just say print print happy new year aman okay and then if i come here and run this function right it will tell me happy new year aman and then you realize let me thank Aman also for the videos on Unfold Data Science. So you come here and you add one more functionality to your function. So you come here and you say, Happy New Year is fine, but also thanks for your videos. And then you run your function, the message changes. Tomorrow, you want to send a generic thank you message. So you do not want to keep this Happy New Year Aman. So you come here and you comment this and then you run your message again. So what I'm doing guys, there is a function and every time I want this function to work the way I want or I want little customization in the function, I am coming in the body of the function and changing the logic. Okay. There is other way. What I can do, I can have a generic message function, I can have a happy new year message function. I can have a question message function, I can have a doubts message function, that is also not a very smart way. You cannot have like 100 functions for 100 things and just a small small change, right? And also you do not want to every time come to your function and change it for even small small things. Those two are not recommended ways. So I am sure many of, many of you would have seen something like at abcxyg before a function. That is nothing but decorators. So how decorators work in Python is just like your gift, okay? So whatever is there inside your main gift, right? You are decorating it with wrapping papers. So in Python, your base function is decorated with something else to make it more strong, to make it more powerful, okay? We are going to see some examples now. First of all, let's try to understand few things about function, okay? So guys, come here. First thing I want you to understand is function is also a Python object or a variable which can be stored in another object or variable. For example, if I come here and say what is there in message, this is nothing but a function. This message can be stored in aman var, aman variable, okay? and the summon variable can be called very easily like this, fine. So function can be stored in a variable. 
Second thing I want to, you to understand is a function can have another function inside it. For example, this is message and this is my message inside it. Okay. What is the job of this my, my message? Return, return one. Just an example. And your main function can return the inside function. So what can happen here is return my msg. This is perfectly fine. Okay. So if you come here and run this, you will just get a local function my msg. But if you want to execute this, you have to take in a new variable because that is nothing but a function definition. Okay. New var is equal to this. And then if you come here and call new var, you will get one as output. So what is happening here? A function can be defined inside another function. Two things are clear. Third thing I want you to understand guys, a function can take another function as an argument. For example, I delete all this. I come here and say argument func. Okay. And this will be a function. I will show you how it works. Return. What it will return? It will just execute this argument func. Okay. And I can very well come here and write my func1, which is my new function. And my func1, what it does? It just says return. 1 1 just some example I'm giving and here and if I call msg function with this new argument right msg and what argument you want to give my func 1 it will take this argument happily and return new 11. So what three things we learned guys function can be stored as a variable function can return another function as output and function can take another function as argument these are the building blocks for decorators. Now we will try to build our own decorator. Come here and write a base function first. So my base function will be define message for Aman. This is my base function. Okay. And what message I want to give to Aman is print, print, hi Aman, hi Aman, happy new year. Okay. This is your base function for wishing me happy new year. Now I will define a get decorator function, get decorator or get decorated function, get decorated function. So what this get decorated function will take is one function as argument. So let me give here one function. It will take one function as argument and inside this get decorated function, I will write another function here. Let's see this carefully. Okay. I will write another function, prepare, prepare, decorator, I can simply say decorator, I can come here and say print, print, let's say um, in place of happy new year, you also want to say me, hi, thanks for your videos and then I will come here and execute this one func, okay. And then I will come here and say one more message for Aman. Let's say keep rocking. Keep rocking. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to return my decorated function here. See this carefully guys. Prepare decorator and I will say return prepare decorator. So what is happening here? This is my base function and this is my get decorated function. What get decorated function is returning? Decorator. What is decorator? It will take my base function, put the wrapper on top of it and return me. Okay. Let's see how it looks like. So my decorated function is equal to, we will use this get decorator function and we will use this message for Aman as input to that function, right? We will do this. Now we get this. Okay, there is some issue. Get decorated function is not defined. Um, get decorated function. Okay, I think I have not run this. Okay, this is done. And now if I come here and call this, right, you will say, Hi, thanks for your videos. Hi, Aman, happy new year. Keep rocking. So this middle line, Hi, Aman, happy new year. 
is your base function message for aman okay before this you want to wrap it in a beautification you want to make it more beautiful so what you are using you are using decorators okay you are using decorators and you are making it more beautiful by some custom messages now guys in real world right you will not see many examples where you need to write your own decorators in general so write your own decorated function means this part i am talking about rather you will use some inbuilt decorators or you will use some custom decorator that is already there okay so suppose this function is already there in framework for example you are using flask or django or whatever so in web based framework this these kind of things we do more how to use this so you come here and you say message for aman looks like this and if i say um, if i call this message for aman right if i call this message for aman then what will get printed guys happy new year now if i want to decorate it with that decorator whatever we have done here guys whatever we have done in this step right this is not the not the generic way i just told you to make you understand but when you use a framework or when you write good codes right then you will basically use other frameworks decorator okay so how to do that is this line normally you will not write rather you will come on top of your base function and you will just write name of your decorating function like this okay and once you do this you will see that the message changes here very very important thing to understand here guys i told you there has to be a switch kind of thing on and off if i go here and command this the function works at in its native form if i go and use a decorator on top of this function if i go here use a decorator on top of this function the function changes now important thing to understand here guys here i am just writing two three lines to show you how it is working but in real world this in place of this print line there can be very very complex logic very very complex codes that you can write and use the decorator in the same way so what is happening your function is more efficient now your function is more smart now and suppose i want to use this message for aman same function with some other decorator i can very well come here and say get my second decorator i do not want you to put this wrapping paper put some other wrapping paper okay and you can use your same function in other way so what is happening here we are changing the meaning of the function by using different different wrapping papers different different decorators okay and very very important thing to understand that is why i wrote the entire code here how decorator works from scratch okay this is how it will be defined internally this is how the object will be getting created and this is how it will be getting called in python simple way of writing this you just write at your decorator function okay and then you pass whatever you want to pass that you want to be decorated so i hope this concept is clear that still if you have any doubts this is the first time maybe you are looking at it write me in the comment i will definitely respond to you guys and if you have understand this clearly then i want you to give me a custom decorator in comment okay in the same way just create a simple function and create a decorator on top of that write me in comment how this that is going to work okay i also want you to go to the flask and django page and see how decorators are helping the developers in a wonderful way okay let me know if you have any doubts guys let me know if you have any comments i will see you all in the next video guys with another interesting topic till then wherever you are stay safe and take care